we are making an MMO together. This is day three, and in three years, we will go IPO as Freedom, and that will fund the production of this new MMO that you are gonna help us spec out and design right now. In those three years, we're gonna create the best plan based on current MMOs, what's wrong with them, starting with this. What you see behind me, we've already gone over a lot of tips. Today we're going to go over more. In case you missed the previous ones, click here. That'll take you to the playlist of all the videos so you can catch up and don't miss a thing about designing this new MMO. Let's go. So today we're going to start with reward every minute played. Is there a record of every minute in game? The problem is that most MMOs are a grind. Repetitive actions with little meaning, except everyone has to do it and there's little point in recording them. So the suggestion is let's create a point system that rewards every minute in the game. More points mean more meaningful actions. Think of it like dollars per hour, a salary. <laughs> this creates a currency for these points that allow purchasing interesting items. Even across games, like a US dollar can be used as a Euro, it converted. Think of it like Facebook is doing for social games. So we can reward every minute played and you can use that as currency to get meaningful things either in the real world or in the game in future times. You're basically getting paid dollars per hour within the game for playing the game. Is that a good idea? The game starts now. Why is character creation a separate step? The problem is that character creation usually involves a tutorial island that feels the same in every MMO. It's just like, hey, get to know this game. The suggestion that we will use in this new MMO is that we will have character creation be part of the game. So when you start, you will instantly enter the game and you get to pick your character based on what you see around you and you'll build your character as the game progresses. Age of Conan did an admirable attempt at making character creation and tutorial island feel like it's part of the game. You actually start on a slave ship and after creation you get shipwrecked and then you kind of build your character up as you go through the game. We'll take that concept and improve upon it so that the game starts now. No separate character creation step. Failures and achievements. Do players know what they can and cannot do yet? The problem is that the excitement comes in two ways, achievements and failures. And the suggestion is to let the players fail from the first moment of the game. Establish what they cannot do yet. So you don't have this perfect road to success where you fight these level one skeletons, then you move on to the level two crabs, then you get on to the level three alligators. Come on, that's just a grind. We wanna let people play at any level just like in the real world, you can get on a plane and go to Japan if you wanted to start the, in the world of Japan right now and probably fail miserably because you don't know Japanese, but the point is you can do it. Same thing in this game. You can let the players fail by choosing where to go from the instant they enter the game and then they can see what they cannot do yet to motivate them to be able to get the things, the skills, learn Japanese, to be able to survive in those areas of the game that they're failing at currently. So in Kronos, the first dungeon has 100 respawning opponents. If you succeed in defeating all of them before the first one respawns, the boss spawns. And this requires teamwork or one extremely efficient solo player. But the point is, in Kronos, they showed you exactly what you need to do and you typically fail at it until you become really good or you get a team together and then you get on to the next level. So, failures and achievements, this feature. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comments below. Let's go over one more. How am I doing? Am I a good player? How can I improve? So in our new MMO, there will be ways for you to judge your gameplay ability versus perfection. So for example, did I just beat that boss in the best possible way or could have I used a different set of skills in a different way to have even more efficient victory? So we want to measure everything and report a percentage based on a perfect simulation calculated by the server and then suggest ways for you as an imperfect human to improve. So for example, you scored 72% in that fight based on damage done versus max potential damage and damage taken versus minimum potential damage taken. And then instead of always using skill X, 
they could suggest try using skill Y every other time and you should improve your percentage. Do you like these videos talking about how we're going to build a new MMO together? I would love to get your feedback down there in the comments below and we will soon be able to vote on your ideas. You will be able to submit your best features in this new MMO and we as a community, as a family, will work together to build the best spec that we will then implement, my promise to you, after we go IPO and have the money to finance a complete MMO game development division of MGN, our multi-gaming network. We already have MGN Game Studios and that's happening over on the MGN channel. Just go to youtube.com slash MGN to see it. But this will take it to the next level where we'll build a full MMO based on your feedback together. I hope I've influenced you in a positive way. Influence, as you know by now, is what my one word is that uniquely describes who I am at my core. It is what excites me. I want to influence people to help them grow together in a new and exciting way. Click this video right here so you can share your word or phrase in the comments beneath that video where I ask you to tell me what you want to pick as a word or phrase to describe yourself. What's at your core that uniquely is you? This is freedom. Who am I? I am George, founder of Freedom and MGN, our multi-gaming network, the MCN for gamers. And I hope I've influenced you positively. While you've been watching... Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more. Click get more views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click get more CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel and click get more music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That play now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Now